In this video I'm going to show you how to use the KK2 flight controller mixer editor to make adjustments so that your SK450 dead cat quad will fly just like a standard quad. Standard X configuration. You can load it in as a default on the dead cat quad and it flies okay but it has some bad tendencies in the roll, pitch, yaw axis. In order to calculate the angles of the dead cat arms, I put my dead cat down on my work board, trace the arms down, and then used a protractor to measure the angles. The standard X configuration is programmed in the KK2 board for symmetrical arms of 90 degrees apart. In the mix editor, the calculations that the KK2 board uses is a little bit of trigonometry. It mixes the right two motors, for example, for roll in the aileron axis to an imaginary motor that comes straight out at 90 degrees. That leaves a 45 degree angle between the front and the back motors. That's where the 71 minus 71 comes in on your ailerons because that's a sign of 45 degrees. On the dead cat, the angle for the back two motors are still 90 degrees in between and it's 45 degree offset. 45 to the center, 45 to the center. The angle for the front arms is much smaller than 45. The arms are pulled back and the angle to the center line on the right and left, which is the aileron or roll axis, is only 20 degrees. So you take the sign of 20 and that's how much power you want on your aileron. And then similarly, the front arms, because they're pulled back, they need a little more power when it comes to elevator. In order to calculate this, that's a vector forward and backward, and the angle between the front arms to the center line forward is 70 degrees. You take the sine of 70 degrees and you get 0.94 or 94. So what does this all look like in the mix editor? Um, here's the new settings in the mix editor. The column on the left is the original settings. The column on the right is the new settings. Take a sine of 20 for ailerons and take a sine of 70 for elevator for the front two motors. The back two motors remain the sine of 45. Sine of 45. Next, I'll talk about the rudder and throttle adjustments. Um, I also noticed that the arms are a half centimeter longer for the front two than the back two. This gives the front two arms a little more command, torque command, when you're doing yaw. So I had to experiment and reduce the amount of rudder on motor one and two, and I found that 75 and minus 75 were about just right. But also, I noticed that it tended to not correct when I centered the stick as quickly, so I, I had to bump up my yaw PI gain way beyond what I usually run at. I usually run that at um, 45 or 50, and I bumped my eye gain to 60, and that seemed to settle it down quite a bit. The last change I want to talk about is a throttle adjustment. I notice the dead cat wants to pitch forward if you accelerate quickly. That's because the rear two motors are angled back more than the front two because they, they come back at 70 degrees and 70 degrees. So when you accelerate, the whole quad pitches forward. So just need to reduce the throttle mixing on the rear two motors and I found that 87 and 87 on mo motors 3 and 4 was just right for the dead cat. Now I think that the dead cat with these adjustments flies just as good as a standard X SK450.